Ron O'Brien and I want to do a video to show you how to install QGIS and add the Flow2D plugin. So if you come to my website, flow2d.com, QGIS plugin, you'll see that in the table you have different versions of the plugin and the documentation installer. Start the download of these two and then start the download for QGIS. This link will take you directly to the QGIS website. And what you want to do is get either the standalone or the network installer, and I just get the latest version. I have each of these downloaded already onto my virtual machine, so I can show you the installation without messing up my computer. So we'll start with the either the documentation or the uh, QGIS, doesn't really matter. So just run this, and then I'll pause the video anytime it starts to take too much time. Okay, we'll continue this, and it will start the installer. And depending on the speed of your computer, this doesn't usually takes about 10 minutes. Everything is default. Now I'll pause it until it's complete. Once the process is complete, click Finish, and you should see that you have a new folder on your desktop where you can access the QGIS desktop version. If you don't want to have this folder on your desktop, you can delete it, and then you can get your desktop version from the search bar. Should be able to just choose the version that you want, and you can get this one, or you can um, open the file location and get the one that contains the grass. So I'll just open this, and then once it loads, we can set it, finish setting it up. Once you, get, you start this, you don't really need the, uh, the rest of this. I'll pause the video until it comes back on. Once QGIS opens, we'll start by doing a bit of housekeeping. So these two panels right here can be combined into a single panel. I like to take the layers panel and then drag it until the browser panel turns blue and then drop it. Now you can, you can access the browser panel and the layers panel from the tabs on the bottom. You may also see that you have another panel over here uh, for the searching of the meta search, you can turn that off. You don't need that panel. Um, you can also add a couple of uh, toolbars that are nice. I prefer, or I really like to use the advanced digitizing toolbar, and I like the snapping toolbar. Snapping toolbar is here. So you can also manage the location of these. Uh, you can see my select toolbar is now on the bottom, and my start digitizing toolbar is here. Those two operations kind of go together. So if you want to put your select, your layer select toolbar right next to your digitizing toolbar, that's kind of a nice way to do that. Um, uh, now we can add the Flow2D plugin. So the plugin manager is here in the plugin menu. Click it and manage the plugins. And then uh, we need to add Flow2D. So Flow2D is a zipped. If I click Install from Zip and then navigate using the navigation bar or navigation button to the location where the plugin is installed, click the zipped plugin. Don't extract it. Just click on it and click Open. And then click Install. You'll need to um, allow it to go through the security warning and it's installing right now. Doesn't take very long to install the plugin. First time takes a bit longer. Subsequent installations are going much faster. As soon as you have it, it installed, you can see that here's your Flow2D plugin or your Flow2D toolbar. And uh, if it ever disappears, you can come back in here and check it. And if you need to change or update or change the, the Flow2D plugin that you're using, you follow the exact same process and navigate to the updated or old plugin, and you can update or revert to plugins using the exact same tool. 
Now I want to go to my regular desktop and get out of the virtual machine for a minute because I have to show two more plugins, but they're going to be online. So the next two plugins are the Quick Map Services that adds Google Docs to your map for Google Maps, sorry, Google Maps to your uh, map space and the profile tool and also the first aid. So if you go plugins, manage and install, you can see that I have these see here, first aid, I have first aid, quick map services and the profile tool. You'll also see here your processing tool is loaded. So if your processing tool toolbar ever disappears, you can get it back here. All right. If you go all and then in the search, we'll start with profile tool. And then you can see here that the plugin and the install is one of these two buttons. Since I already have it installed, it won't work, but you just pick one of those two buttons that'll install it for you. Then back up here to quick map services. And again, same process, just install it using whatever button down here allows you to do the install. Same thing with first aid, same exact thing, just grab it and install it. Once you're completed, you can close this, and then there's one more step. On the quick map services, you click it, and you're not gonna see everything here the first time you install it. Go to settings, and uh, sorry, more services and get contributed pack. And then once the contributed pack is loaded, click save. You have to have an internet connection to do those things. Um, back to the virtual machine. The next step would be to install the documentation installer. I don't know if this is going to work or not because I don't have Flow2D installed, but let's just see what it does. So I'll run it, but it's set up. I believe it's going to run silently. So I will. Um, probably pause the video. Yeah, it looks like it's running silently, so I'll pause the video until it's complete. So once the documentation installer is complete, it'll show you this window right here, program compatibility, the program installed fine, just ignore this, click that it installed correctly, and then you can navigate to the location where it installed the tutorials. So that is C drive, users, public, public documents, Flow2D Pro documentation. And if you have all of Flow2D installed, there'll be some more folders in here, but I only have the plugin installed right now. So if I want to see my lessons one through five, they're in, or sorry, one through six, they're in example projects. And that is the, that's finished. The next step would be to install Flow2D, but that'll be a different video. Thank you.